In this filthy jeep adventure, we headed about 250 kilometres north of Brisbane to Inskip Point for a few days of rest and relaxation. We didn't do a lot of filming this trip, but we hope you enjoy what we did capture as much as we loved being there. We stayed at the MV Natoni campground which allowed dogs, so the hounds had a holiday too. Just letting you know that dogs are not allowed in the Kalula recreational area, but there is still kilometres of beach that is dog friendly, and man did our dogs have a ball. With views to Fraser Island and Double Island Point, it was the perfect place to have no plans and enjoy the beauty of the Kooloola Coast. Peninsula is a narrow sandy finger of land built up by the wind and the waves. It forms a natural breakwater at the entrance to the Tin Can Bay Inlet and the Great Sandy Strait. The beautiful sunrises, the colourful light of the sunsets, combined with the pristine white beaches, makes Inskip Point a perfect place to forget about the busyness of everyday life. We didn't really want to leave this place. While we chose to spend our time at the beach playing with the dogs and reading books, there is plenty of things to do in this area. You could visit the coloured sands or explore the sand blows. Perhaps you want to surf at the longest surf break in Australia at Double Island Point, or walk to Lake Puna for a swim in its tea-coloured waters. Or perhaps you want to head into the township of Rainbow Beach and have a meal at one of their many cafes or at the bar. Unfortunately, the Cherry Venture Wreck is no longer on Tiwa Beach, but it lives on in the memories of the kids who explored it in the 70s and the 80s. If you've got a memory of the Cherry Venture or the coloured sands when you were a kid, we'd love to hear about it. Pop it down in the comments below.